Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to look at magnetic induction. So let's get started. It says here that the strength of a magnetic field at a point is called the magnetic induction, and we give it the symbol capital B. The direction of B at any point is the direction of the magnetic field at that point. And it can be shown that the magnetic induction B at a distance from a current carrying wire is directly proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the perpendicular distance from the wire R. So if I had a vertical wire and my current was flowing from the bottom to the top, then we know from the left hand grip rule that the current should be flowing round it in this direction, going around like this. And what we mean by the perpendicular distance away from the wire is if we had this vertical wire, then it's going to be a distance at right angles to that along in this direction. So the relationship you get given for magnetic induction on the relationship sheet in the exam says that B equals mu naught I over 2 pi R, where B is magnetic induction measured in Tesla with a capital T, mu naught is a constant called the permeability of free space measured in Henry's per meter, which has a value of 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 Henry's per meter, and this is on the data sheet in your exam. I is the current in the wire measured in amperes, and R is the perpendicular distance from the wire measured in meters. So just be careful to use the perpendicular distance for R and not the length of the wire, which would be different. We can also define the unit Tesla for magnetic induction, and this says that 1 Tesla T is the magnetic induction of a magnetic field in which a conductor of length 1 meter carrying a current of 1 ampere perpendicular to the field is acted on by a force of 1 newton. We can measure magnetic induction using something called a Hall probe or a search coil. It is even possible to get an app for a smartphone or tablet which will measure magnetic induction. Lastly, it says to note that magnetic induction is also known as magnetic flux density. So if you see it worded like this, it just means magnetic induction. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.